first I thought it was a great opportunity, a beautiful campus, excellent academic school, um, you know, uh, the ability to attract kids from not just the state of Florida, but obviously from other states and other countries that want to come here to be, you know, students and also athletes. Um, you know, personally, I thought it was an excellent academic school for my son, Brendan, who's a sophomore. Uh, my wife, Kelly, really loves Florida, so uh, those were some of the attractions. Well, I like to be the aggressor and, you know, try to uh, uh, put our will on the other team. Um, so basically my philosophy as a coach is to, you know, be the aggressor, play outstanding defense, not let the other teams do what they're comfortable with and, you know, force the tempo and the action. You know, the goals are, you know, that I have for the program are, are several. One, to make sure that all the kids playing, you know, graduate and, and reach their academic capabilities while they're here, that they go to very good colleges that prepare them for life outside of sports, um, you know, to serve as a, as, you know, hopefully be able to help these guys in their teenage years with some, some advice basketball-wise and outside of basketball. And then basketball-wise, you know, is to... Uh, hopefully have the best basketball program in the country, uh, you know, um, in high school basketball. You know, the hospitality of people, I love the, the, the tournament, the mate tournament. Yeah, I heard a lot of hype about it prior to play, coaching in it and the team being involved. But it was, you know, every bit as people said it would be in enthusiasm, spirit, support, and, and beyond. So that was just a great experience to see the student body so involved and the kids, uh, you know, having such a good time and, and obviously the team had to be able to be successful. So that was, you know, just a, a great moment here so far. Well, my background in basketball is, you know, I was a gym rat growing up. I would play, I, I think I probably played basketball every day from when I was five until I graduated high school with the exception of probably like three days. And I would play in the summer 10 to 14 hours a day and just drill and try to get better. And, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to play in college at Seton Hall in the Big East and also at St. Peter's in Jersey City, um, you know, both Division One levels, playing against a lot of guys who eventually were pros. And then I was able to play in the United States Basketball League, which is like a summer pro league, um, you know, for a year. And, you know, that was a good experience. And then after that, I basically uh, started coaching an eighth grade team. And uh, the principal of St. Patrick's in New Jersey, uh, where I had coached for 23 years prior to coming here, his son was on that team. And, you know, we kind of hit it off as friends. He thought I did a good job with the kids and, uh, you know, uh, hired me to be the varsity coach there. And, you know, we just had a great run of 23 years and, you know, almost r always ranked high nationally. You know, I had a lot of outstanding players. Kyrie Irving, the number one pick in the draft from the Cavaliers, and <clears throat> Michael Gilchrist from Kentucky this year, who will be a lottery pick uh, among three or four or five other pros and probably 10 guys playing professionally in, from China to Turkey to Spain to Switzerland. So we have Italy. So we have guys that played for me in high school coaching, and playing, you know, all over the world, um, and all doing very well. But we're probably more proud that you know, ninety-five percent of those guys are good people. You know, they're really good guys outside of basketball, and they know how to conduct themselves and represent their families in the school. And obviously, here, you know, we haven't reached our goals yet. But year one, we, you know, we were able to win the mate. We were able to win the Ocala Kingdom of the Sun. Two excellent tournaments with great competition. We we're able to finish ninth in the country. We beat 11 teams that were in the top 50 in uh, ESPN poll, which nobody else in the country, I think the next next team in America beat five. So we had a better schedule than anybody. And, you know, we were able to get to the national tournament championship where, unfortunately, we built a big lead and weren't able to keep it. But, you know, hopefully we'll learn from that experience and next year we'll be able to finish that with a, with a championship.